As you can see, Siena Coles 40 kilometers away, but we've done about 5Ks already. So Siena Col is the next town we're going to visit. And it's about 45 kilometers from Marquardt. And I'm looking forward to seeing the place. So am I. I remember a few months ago we drove past it yes. on the way home. But I don't think I've ever been inside the town. No. I think you have. I have many, many, many years ago. But I can't remember anything about it. We're also staying over in Siena Col this evening. Oh, that's cool. At Denebosch Guest House, who is also sponsoring this episode. Many thanks to Christelle. We will put her details on the screen and in the description below. Beautiful cosmos at the side of the road, eh? Incredible. Wow, look at the colors. I haven't seen cosmos in a long time. Long, long, long time. Listen, and I saw a sign saying potholes, but uh, I must be honest, this road is beautiful. Yeah, no problems on this road. Quite a contrast to the previous one. Sure. ready to be harvested? I think they're going to go a little while still but they, they'll harvest them soon. And it goes to feed for cockatiels, they eat sunflower seeds. So they, do we. So do we and then they get squashed for sunflower oil. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we were just traveling on this road to Senecal and we spotted this, what is it, a siding, flock sprite siding. I'd say. How cool is that? How can we miss that? How can we not stop? <laughs> Absolutely love seeing things like that. Listen, and we keep on seeing potholes, 80 and 90 kilometers per hour signs, and the road is fantastic. I haven't had one pothole on this road yet. So um, it looks like they've either fixed it the signs are very very old yeah. but they don't look that way no this is a beautiful road this is a pleasure to drive yeah. on wow yeah look at those flat mountains in the distance there they are very flat eh? yes i found it interesting that we drove past a farm called arizona yes We've got a few viewers from Arizona. Yes, we do. And they've said that some parts of South Africa remind them of Arizona. I wonder if this would too. Most probably, that's why it's called Arizona. So this is the N5. Clear my side. Yes. Very close to Seneca. Great. so nice um, so I asked our host what options there are available in town yeah so she listed a few and then amongst them was uh, she says that okay foods makes cooked meals every day I can call them to get the menu and then perhaps they can you know set some aside for us because we weren't sure what time we'd be arriving yeah so I called the deli and I speak to Aunt Twenty. And uh, I said, well, we're going to try our best to be here by five. Because he says that's when they start packing the food away and switching off and stuff. And then, unbelievably, a few minutes later, he called me back. And he said he suggests that he rather dishes up for us. 
uh, so that we don't miss out. How kind Fan is that? Fantastic. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the OK and pick up our food and then we'll explore. I think so. Then yeah. we, Because I think we both just want proper nourishing food. Yes. Not takeaways. And um, I said give us everything. Yeah. Give us everything. <laughs> give us two big plates. We'll take care of it. So let's find the OK. Yeah. A small place they say. No, I had that thought and what I'm seeing is confirmation. Yep. But let's see. It says we need to turn right in front Ribiak, which is 120 meters away. Okay. Which is this one. Ooh. It looks like they're in the street, babe, okay. 180 meters from here. Okay. Oh, look at that steeple at the oh. back there. Stone tower. Yeah, look at the okay is building. Look at that in this building with the beautiful gables. Oh, well, this is it. This is where yeah. we need to be. Fantastic. Yes, okay foods skippers. <laughs> There's a nice spot right in front. Let me make a U-turn. Good afternoon. My name is Hilda Machema. I'm working in daily skippers okay here in Senegal. Uh, I serve all the people with nice food, nice chips, and good savings. Uh, I've got the people from uh, Cape Town. I want to serve them with food so that they can eat nicely and rest in the afternoon. That's Thank fantastic. you very much. Oh. Have a nice food and lekker yet. Lekker yet. Thank oh, you. Yeah, it's the save, uh, save yet and the spoons. Have a nice day. Thank, thank you, you very Yilda. much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Please also say thank you to Antoine. I will. I will. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice journey. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very Bye. much. So we've got our food for the night. May I just share with you that in the 10 minutes that I have been waiting for you in yeah. the car, I think I've been greeted as many times. That's fantastic. It, <laughs> I'm so friendly here. It is incredible. Yeah. It is such a friendly place. I've never seen that before. No, it's wild. Ask That's me how I am. Like, <laughs> and here's the library. Yep. That was incredible. Truckers, sprinters, but I don't know if they still do that. No, no, no. But that's interesting. Traffic see. department. It's the traffic see. department now. Yeah, you can see that some time ago. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's go up here. Maybe we go up here, but then we take side streets. Yes. I can't wait to get a hold of that food. Eh? <laughs> oh, I'm just as excited. <laughs> So, definitely looks like it to me. Yes, but I'm sure there should be a left turn here somewhere. Or am I wrong? Farm store. Oh, yes, a farm store. Oh, we haven't seen a farm store in a while. Yeah. Shall we 
go visit. Let's go visit the farm store. Wow. Oh no, don't tell me it's closed. Look at the chair. Yes. <laughs> oh. Massive chair. Looks like it's closed. Oh yeah, it's locked. The gate's locked. No. All right. This is parking here. Let me go and have a look. It doesn't look closed there. Fortunately, the one area is open. This shop is closed, but the lady who owns this side said, no, I can take my time. They're only leaving in a while. So I'm going to take a walk through, but this is so nice. Look at that. Looks like a berg on that layer. That's old cans and stuff. Wow. Take the old cake too.
twig jam. 90 bucks. That's not a bad price for homemade stuff. The beautiful doves. A little rabbit. Hey. <laughs> Play area for the kids. I can just imagine what there's a dashi. Check the dashi. <laughs> this must be so nice when there's water charging down this face here. Sit here having a nice meal, picnic. Yo, this is a nice place. I'm so lucky that that lady was prepared for me to go through there. She said, No, it's fine, you can do it. I see the one uh, pigeon is very proud. Yeah. <laughs> of his or her good looks. <laughs> he can be. <laughs> he can be. That's for sure. Until you got too close for comfort. Yes. So I'm going to just go straight across here. Yes. So this is the N5, eh? That's why it's a bit busy. Yeah. Clear my side. And here we are at the Sienna Primary School. Great stuff. It says Primera School. I wonder if it's dual medium. Oh, good grounds, eh? Yeah. This must be a hostel. Yep. Yes, I see the little kiddies. Oh yeah, look at them sitting there. Yes. <laughs> Most probably waiting for supper time. <laughs> oh, the one term that I was in the hostel, that was about the highlight. <laughs> Sometimes we did get good food. Okay, yeah, I think the hostels have to make good food. Children need nourishment. Yes. Look at the sports fields, whoa. Yeah, it's extensive. Yeah. So I would imagine a lot of them come from outlying farms. Definitely. Okay, are we at the back of this church? Yes. Yeah, no. They mean business with their sports grounds. Uh, take it serious, yeah. Cricket nets. Oh, yeah. Tennis courts. Look at the 
beautiful tennis courts. Netball field or court. Sure. Look at the beautiful tennis courts. They're brand new, six of them. <laughs> I was stuck on the netball courts. Quiet in the suburbs. Yeah. That's my go-to when it's going hectic in the town centres and I run to the suburbs. Yeah, but this is how we see how the locals live. Yep. I find it very interesting. Yeah. But I would like to make my way back to town, some of the side streets. Yes, we're going to go there right now. Look at this place, Rondehoek, 1914. And you can see why it's called that, their yeah. corners are round. Yes. Wow. I know what that looming in the background is. Oh. This seems to be the post office. Look at these nice places, yeah. Yes, this is the post office. Yep. Sure. It's totally fenced in there. Oh, look at the windows. There's no way. I'm looking at this palisade fence. No way to get in. All right, stop. Oh, it's a stop. Okay. No way. It's all chained up. That's a pity. See if there's a spot to stop that I can just some nice pictures of the place there's no way i can get into this church because it's locked like crazy but look at this place yeah. and there's beautiful wagon wheels this was the original wall look at that with the stone that looks like Whoa, that looks beautiful. I don't want to say, but could this have been trees that have turned into stone? Because it looks like tree marks on that. Let me zoom into that. Look at that. I could be totally wrong, but it really looks like it to me. Look at that wagon. Eighteen sixty-seven, I think. I can't. I'll have to zoom in closer to have a look. And yes, wagon tracks. So it must have something to do with the foot trackers. And look at that old wagon there. This is, it looks like it's Commandant General F. P. Senegal who was born on the 5th of December 1815. 
that is fantastic but this church is also stunning such a pretty one can't get in here oh there's another statue on the top side here which I just want to have a quick squeeze at look at that I must say the sculptures or the statues is amazing the detail in it eighteen ninety nine to nineteen oh two there's a cornerstone over there I can't read anything I'm gonna have to take a photo and see if I can zoom in and I think there's one over there too I want to say something about the church that stood out to me. Okay. It still stands out to me. Tell me. We used to hammered stone, the yes. textured one, but look how they alternated here with a smooth stone. Yes. That's not something we see that often. Yeah. No, true. You see that? It's beautiful. And the white top of the steeple looks beautiful. Eh? It's fantastic. And this is one of the oldest churches in the Free State. And you will be happy to know that it's fenced with petrified wood originally excavated from nearby farms crazy because when I was looking at that I thought it looks like wood like that's turned to stone yes and they are fossilized that's that's it it's petrified that is unusual no it's beautiful no it is stunning you can still see the rings and the, the grain hey? yeah definitely very chuffed to this church it's just a pity i can't get inside yes i know i have to zoom onto everything <laughs> well that's the next best thing yep at least i can still see some thingies and the senegal folks continue to smile and greet me yes <laughs> how's this these massive silos have got sasco written on them i saw them from the other side Sesco. You have consumed one or two of their products over the years. Oh, so many. Yet you continue to do so. It is too nice. <laughs> That's your big weakness. <laughs> yes. Your bread. big weakness. Bread. Uh, uh. And you like their bread rolls. Yes. Oh, look at all the hay. Serious silos. Yo, so nice to get so close to them. Yeah. Check out this, eh? Massive. All the trucks. Sasco Sam. Sasco Sam. Looks like it's still operational though, eh? Oh, no doubt. Did you doubt that? Yeah. Oh, I no. thought it might not be because there's huge silos somewhere else as well. No, I feel that they're still operational. Fantastic. Sasco. Check the rail tracks coming in here. I don't know what their logo looks like now. There, their logo still has a little anchor. Ah, is it? Yeah, I can't remember what their logo used no. to look like or does look like. We're getting to Water Street. Yes. Shall we follow the tracks? Or we 
can't. There, the fence closes down there on the other side. Chimney things. Yeah, those are vents to take the heat out of the roof space. Otherwise, the building gets hot. We've lost the tracks. Yeah, we have. Bosch guest house. Oh, is this where we're staying for the yes. night? Yes, this is where we will be resting this evening. It's not too long and we'll be back here. Yeah? I know, I <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> it's going to be so nice. So the town is situated on the banks of the Sunt River. Yes, I think we came over it as we came into town. I didn't know that. Cynical Golf, Golf Club. Club. Is that what you're looking for? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, well we'd half past five in the afternoon, but maybe we can have a squiz. Yeah. Just turning down here, I don't know if this is the right way. This looks like squash courts to me. Doesn't it? Could be. Wow. Let's stop this gentleman and ask. Okay. I am telling you. The gentleman was uh, has only been here for a year. Yeah. But he says it is a fantastic place. Yeah. He works at the high school. Yes. this so he says he's not sure about squash but there's volleyball yoga definitely golf yeah now i'm and not going to go further than this but you can see this is beautiful yeah, yeah this is the green yes and he says it's very social here <laughs> i can imagine uh, i think that's a tea over there yes tea off over there interesting crazy nice to see the golf course in good shape on the Sant River there, the Sant River runs by All those right. willow trees. He says there was some function here. He's busy cleaning up. Now you can definitely see it's uh, well maintained. Yeah. Area, yeah. <laughs> Please just look at these trees. Yeah, oh, massive. Look how tall they are. Yeah. <laughs> they are enormous. All right. That's interesting. Nice. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> he does it all. This doesn't, doesn't happen down. to me often. <laughs> doesn't want to shut down either. Oh, I don't know, a, a video just started playing here. <laughs> oh yeah, the tennis courts are. Yeah, no. Good shape. The play park not so much, but I don't think that's the purpose of this place. Ah, this is where the recreational people get together. Okay. Nice. Very neat. Yeah, I think it's stunning. I know your face, you're looking for something. I'm trying to find it, but it's difficult. 
because I need to look at my map and my map's on my phone. And I can't look at my phone right now. Maybe we can stop here and check. Okay, I'll go now. Hey, Cinecars taxis. Up, look at all the taxis. Yeah. Wow. I think this is what I was looking for over here. You think? I think so. I'm not sure. I might be totally off, but it just looks like it to me. Alright. No, this is not what I'm looking for. Look at these beautiful trees. Yeah. Sure. I wonder if they're the Puanas. They remind me of my mom. I think instead of turning left to Sasko, yeah, I must turn right. All right. The sun is blinding me. Yep. Could it be this blue building? This white and blue building? Well, I'm sure you'll share with uh, us. I'm hoping to find the swimming pool. Okay, and well this, this is Cynical. Beautiful. Star. Oh, it's all closed in. But this building looks so nice. The swimming pool might. Look at the water f uh, yes. reflecting on the yes, door yes. there. You can see people were swimming here just recently. There's still a bit of water here. And there's the reflection on the... So this pool is definitely functioning. This is old, from days gone by. Pretty high walls. As of high the walls around there, so I want to go around this side and see. <laughs> oh, look at that. I can't really see properly, but it looks like a beautiful pool. Oh, that's good to see. If a town's swimming pool is doing well, then you know the town's doing well. So this is where you, it's a real B&B, &B. you let them know and you get your breakfast here. This is where you'll have your breakfast, but you have to pre-order your breakfast. And this is our room. I 
love the ceilings, all the lead ceilings, pressed ceilings. Look at this beautiful headboard. Wow. There, there's the cat. <laughs> Sonia's going to be happy about the cat. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Coffee and tea. There's a microwave. A cupboard. Little fridge and our TV, DSTV. Air conditioner. It's the bathroom. Hey, kitty cat! Hey! Hey! <laughs> and they've got all these rooms over here. There's one, there's four, five, six, and then there's seven. These are all occupied. This is the bra area. Play area for the kids. Oh, motorbikes tire. So this is when you go out, you press the button, the gate opens, drop off your keys, drive out, wait till the gate closes, and then it's all done. In a bush. The gardens are so neat and green. So look at this. They're busy putting two of these up, windy houses. They're still busy with the construction of them. But these two windy houses are being added now. I think this is going to be fantastic. So cute. And load shedding has just hit us. So as I tried to show you earlier, before the load shedding hit, this is like two and a half hours later. Um, this is where we would have breakfast if we were going to have breakfast. And this is the rest of the guest house. It's so nice to show you. Oh, look at this fireplace. Now that the load shedding is over and the beautiful wooden floors 
Oh, I love it. I think if I put more lights on here, it'll be stunning. This beautiful ceiling. This fireplace. Oh. So we had to wait for load shedding to be over to be able to heat up our food and eat it. But look at this. There's chicken and meatballs, potatoes, rice, spinach, pumpkin. This is going to be so nice. Awesome. Yeah, what a day. It was so good to eat that food. Really, real, real traditional South African food. I really enjoyed it. The vegetables, the potatoes, even the meatballs were stunning. So that was it for today. Thanks for joining us. But it's not over. We will see you in the morning. Good morning. Welcome to Sienekal. <laughs> I'm telling you, after supper last night, I went and lay on the bed, put on the TV, thought I was going to be watching TV. It wasn't, I'm sure it wasn't even three minutes and I was gone, <laughs> out for the count. But woke up this morning feeling absolutely refreshed, really wonderful stay here. And uh, yeah, there's one place we want to go and see here in Sienekal, which we haven't stopped at. So we're going to first go around there and show you that place and then we'll hit the road. But let's get going. Denebosch guest house. Yes. I just want to dump the key in here. Yeah? Yes. And there we go. Yeah. Listen, I slept from the moment I put my head down <laughs> until 1.30. Then I started wondering about load shedding at 2, which never came, yes. thankfully. So great. And then I was out again until about 5. Yeah, no, I, when I, I thought I was going to watch TV, I passed out and I woke up this morning. Yeah, I think we were very tired last yeah. night, I must say. Um, what can we say about Denebosch? For me as a woman, it's got an incredible charm. It's rustic, yeah. but very refined. Like the, the lead pressed ceiling, yes. the Oregon floors, Beautiful. and then the textiles are textured, like yes. the blinds and the comforter and the pillowcases, and I love yeah, that. Yeah. So very, very comfortable stay. Now, I enjoyed Dennebosch. It was really nice staying there. Uh, comfortable, the room sizes. I like that area where you can have breakfast. Yes. This morning we set up our laptops there, worked a little. Yeah, I had to catch up a little. Yeah. <laughs> That was really nice. I enjoyed it. So again, a very big thank you to Yuri and Christelle. Uh, it was such a pleasure. Thank you very much. Their contact details will be in the description below. Sienekal Miele. It's the mall. Yes. Look at the, look at the little pigs. Yes. <gasps> no way. It's a mother with three piglets. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Really? We're sitting while we were eating our wonderful supper last night. Oh, and how great it was. Yeah. Eh? And we realized we never got to the old station. So we just want to pop in there and see what it looks like. Left here? Yes. Does he 
here are the uh, tracks. The road doesn't exist here anymore. These are the tracks going down that way. I don't think the station exists no more. Let me see. Surely one should be able to see what's left of the buildings. Yeah. The tracks tell their own story. Yep, they do. You want to tell me there aren't even any buildings left, Yeah, right? it looks like it's totally gone. It's I don't um, recognize this as railway related. No, this is not. So we can't get to the station, it looks like that road doesn't exist anymore. But we've come across the Senecal Agricultural Showgrounds. That works. Yeah. That's a good substitute. Let's take a drive. Yeah. Listen, the cherry on top for me was now when I saw two people carrying in a silver stainless steel or steel milk can yes. into the dairy. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much better than That's that. That's the truth, eh? Wow. Horses, yeah. Oh. Wow. So they kept here in the stables. Yes. This is the ring. Oh, where they show the animals, all the stables. I can only imagine what a hive of activity it is here. Yep, when they have these shows. Looks like it's been around for a while, eh? It does, yes. Stalikis! <laughs> I grew up knowing Stalikis stalls. Yeah, where they have the exhibition. Yes. <laughs> a show is always very exciting to me yes. as a young person and a child. Cynical longbow productor. Agricultural products. I'm not sure. You think this is still part of it? I think so. Okay. I do think so. Hi there. Uh, yes, the ladies all yes. with the baking and the sewing okay. and the knitting and the crocheting. Okay, they're excavating here, so I won't be able to get across there. But look over there, there's wagons. I just want to zoom in a bit <gasps> over there. Are you sure we can't go around? We can go around there. We have to. Big, eh? Yeah. These are what the foot trackers moved with, eh? That that's why they had like proper beds on them. Yes. They were like the old RVs. <laughs> but they weren't recreational. They were their homes for a long period. Can you imagine those oxen because they look very, very heavy, eh? Hey? Yeah. That's but why they had just like the wheels. Eight and pulling ten, them. Pulling them. Right. Into, yeah. And across mountainous terrain, That's not crazy. just across this Through field here. Yes. No, they were brave. No, no. Fantastic, I'm glad we got to see this. Yeah, me too. Ending Seneca on a high note. Yes. Well, 
This concludes our visit to the second largest town in the Setsoto municipality. Oh really? Yes. I didn't know that. I will tell you, my lasting impressions of Senegal will be one of friendliness and respect. Exactly. The exactly. young people are so respectful, like it's just incredible. I mean like the, the way they make way for you to film where they don't have to. Yeah. It's, it's just incredible. And l this morning again, walking into the supermarket to buy an ice cold cool drink, person by the till, over the top friend. It's yeah. like, yeah. like I, I'm not used to it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I must be honest. Uh, Senegal can be very proud of its people. Yes. It was an absolute pleasure visiting Senegal. I really enjoyed Senegal. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and we'll see you in the next episode.